Hi, today's date is the 9th of September. Let's get right into it. UK parents are likely to have made cutbacks amid the cost of living crisis. Oldham residents are limiting showers, eating salads and cereal, sleeping in tents and lighting candles due to uh, the cost of living crisis. The UK Energy Plan has quietly rescuing energy traders and provides open-ended bailouts for utilities. The cost of living crisis creates a risk to road safety as older cars and their spiraling maintenance costs means that people are not getting them fixed. Big banks are turning off hot water, stopping fountains and preparing diesel generators. In essence, they're normalising rationing. Prices already rising in 75% of UK pubs and restaurants due to energy. Will they survive winter? Harlem in the Netherlands is banning adverts for meat to save the environment. They want you eating those crickets. Toilet rolls get shorter and more expensive as energy prices hit the paper mills. I've told you about this a few times in the last two months. The US dollar strength is wreaking havoc across most countries. Europe's metal industry is on the brink of collapse from surging energy prices. Hungary now imposes a heating limit of 18 degrees Celsius. California declares an energy emergency and uh, is considering rotating outages to protect the grid. This is an insane one. Switzerland will consider jailing or fining those who heat their rooms above 19 degrees. Then it'll be 18, then it'll be 17, then soon enough you're not allowed to use the gas boiler you have. Soaring energy costs could leave UK towns without nightlife. Their plans are working and this dystopian future is slowly edging its way into the present. Rural families in the UK are now at a risk of fuel poverty. Basically, they want everyone in the surveillance cities. The energy crisis is now threatening British zoos. I think Bristol Zoo is closed and there's a possible threat to animals being euthanized. JP Morgan, the big bankers, are possibly going to relocate their main office from Frankfurt to London due to risk of energy blackouts. The energy crisis in the UK could collapse one half of small businesses. Again, another script, another tick. Scottish firms face 200% energy bill rises. Essex and Yorkshire poultry farms now have bird flu outbreaks. Soon enough, no meat soon, crickets only. Britain is stumbling to a Euro-style rental catastrophe. You will own nothing, you'll be happy, living in pods or tiny houses. By metrics, Estonia and the U country that's at war is to collaborate on a digital ID development. Weird how that country beginning with you is really at the forefront of this digital ID development during this WAR period. And finally, the US moved ahead with long distance biometric identification. And uh, yeah, apparently it, it can recognize you from 1600 feet away, which is 500 meters. So again, another day, another lot of dystopian news and I'm not even going to mention about the Queen. Um, all I would suggest is keep your eyes completely open because uh, the um, UK uh, love to push things in in the background while everyone is distracted. So uh, please like, please subscribe, please comment. I'll see you on the next one.